Hello again, those of you who are interested in history. Today we're going to begin on an exciting adventure to explore the rich history of Mauritania, which was a Roman province that left an unmistakable impact on the Atlantic coast of North Africa. Come with me as we investigate the fascinating Roman influence that has been felt throughout this area, which spans modern-day Morocco, as well as sections of Algeria. Let's investigate the connections that exist between Mauritania and the Roman Empire as a whole starting with the splendid towns and moving on to the highly developed agriculture and the Romanization process. Prepare yourselves for an exciting journey across time. We need to comprehend the backdrop of Mauritania's incorporation into the Roman Empire in order to have a complete understanding of the Roman effect on modern-day Morocco, which was formerly known as Mauritania. In the 2nd century BCE, the Roman Republic started cultivating contacts with the kingdoms located in North Africa which would later result in the establishment of the Roman province known as Mauritania. Because of its location on the coast of the Atlantic Ocean, this area developed into an important hub for Roman commerce, serving as a connection between Europe and North Africa. The first stop on our voyage will be to the magnificent Roman city of Volubilis, which is located in present-day Morocco. Under Roman administration, the city of Volubilis flourished and developed into a thriving commercial and cultural center. Its breathtaking remains, which include triumphal arches, intricate mosaics, and well-preserved structures, offer an insight into the architectural marvels of the time period in which they were built. Volubilis was initially established by the Carthaginians in the 3rd century BC, making its roots accessible all the way back to that time period. But it was during the time of the Romans, beginning in the 1st century AD and continuing forwards, that the city underwent a substantial amount of development and expansion. Volubilis flourished as a center for agriculture, trade, and business due to the fertile lands that surrounded it, which produced an abundance of wheat, olive oil, and other important items. The city of Volubilis, which is known for its Roman legacy, is home to a unique collection of ruins that display the city's former splendor and serve as a tribute to the city's past glory. The archaeological site extends across a total area of around 40 hectares, 99 acres, and it is home to a wide variety of buildings that have been carefully preserved. These include residential buildings, public baths, temples, triumphal arches, and a forum. The buildings display the aesthetic and architectural prowess of the era through the use of ornate mosaics, exquisite carvings, and other costly ornamentation. The Arch of Caracalla, is a magnificent triumphal arch that was constructed in the 3rd century AD to honor the Roman Emperor Caracalla. It is widely regarded as one of the most recognizable landmarks in Volubilis. Its opulence and superb architecture are illustrative of the city's wealth during the time of the Romans. The House of Orpheus is another place of interest worth visiting. It is a beautiful mansion that features elaborate mosaics representing scenes from mythology. These mosaics demonstrate the residents' riches as well as their cultural knowledge. Visitors to Volubilis are able to conjure up images of the bustling life that once throbbed throughout this old city as they stroll through its streets. The ruins of the city's infrastructure, such as the well-preserved road network, aqueducts, and the Decumanus Maximus, the main thoroughfare, provide insights into the day-to-day -day operations and urban planning of the historical period. In addition to its rich Roman history, Volubilis is significant for other reasons as well. Before the arrival of the Romans, the city had been shaped by a number of different civilizations, notably the native Berbers and Phoenician merchants. This fusion of many cultures and historical periods lends depth to the site, which contributes to the cultural significance of the location. Visitors to the Volubilis archaeological site are given the opportunity to see the majesty of a Roman metropolis that was once thriving thanks to the site's preservation efforts. It offers a glimpse into the past by illuminating the social, economic, and cultural aspects of Roman civilization in North Africa. It is like seeing through a window into the past. The excavation and preservation of Volubilis both add to our knowledge of ancient history and serve as a reminder of the rich historical legacy that was passed down from one civilization to another. Volubilis served as a living monument to the Roman culture that prevailed in Mauritania. The city was home to a remarkable forum as well as a public bath system and a large road network. The Romans brought with them their sophisticated construction methods, which completely altered the architectural environment of the region. Volubilis became a thriving urban center during the Roman occupation, 
displaying the successful integration of Roman and native cultures. In addition to being commercial hubs, the Roman cities of Mauritania also served as political and administrative centers for the province. Tingis, which is now known as Tangier, was another important urban town in the former region of Mauritania. This city played a significant role for the Romans as an outpost and a gateway to Hispania, what is now known as Spain. As one stands in Tingis, it is mind-boggling to contemplate the monumental significance that the Romans placed on this city from a military standpoint. Tingis served as a bridge connecting Mauritania to the larger Roman Empire, which facilitated the passage of commodities, armies, and ideas over the Mediterranean. Tingis was named after the ancient city that served in this capacity. Even though the region's Roman cities were the crowning jewels of Mauritania, the agricultural prowess of the province was outstanding in its own right. The Romans revolutionized farming by introducing new methods and improving infrastructure, which led to increased output. They did this by building aqueducts in order to convey water for irrigation, which resulted in the transformation of dry terrain into fertile farmlands. Mauritania's abundant soils and favorable climate made it an ideal place for agriculture. The Romans were able to take advantage of these natural advantages by employing innovative agricultural practices, such as crop rotation, terracing, and the employment of animals to provide traction. The adoption of Roman agricultural practices resulted in a substantial rise in food yields, which in turn supported both domestic consumption and commerce with other regions of the Roman Empire. Seeing how the Romans used their knowledge in agriculture to completely reshape the area is a fascinating thing to do. The region of Mauritania became well known for its enormous grain production, which it sent in large amounts to Rome to meet the demands of the city's population. This agricultural prosperity not only allowed the local population to survive, but it also helped Mauritania deepen its relations to the larger Roman Empire. During the course of our investigation into the Roman colonization of Mauritania, we cannot ignore the Romanization process. Romanization is the process through which Roman culture, language, and practices were introduced into countries that had previously been ruled by Rome. This phenomena had a significant influence in Mauritania helping to form the character of the area as a whole. Mauritania's language was irrevocably altered as a result of Roman occupation. The administration, commerce, and education all shifted to using Latin as their primary language. Latin was adopted by the native people of the area, and this adoption led to a mixing of Latin with the languages of the area, which resulted in the development of distinctive dialects. Latin inscriptions became symbols of Roman authority and cultural assimilation when they were used on public buildings and statues during Roman times. Roman ruins can be found in a number of Moroccan cities and towns, some of which date back to the time of the Roman Empire. It is a monument to the ongoing legacy of the Roman Empire that Mauritania's Roman past still remains ingrained in the fabric of the territory, manifesting itself in the form of architectural characteristics as well as linguistic influences. Our investigation into the Roman influence on the province of Mauritania leads us beyond the confines of the province itself. The ties that bound Mauritania to the rest of the Roman Empire were complex and extended over a wide range of topics and topics. Mauritania was connected to neighboring provinces via trade networks, which allowed for the free flow of both goods and ideas. Mauritania was an essential link in the trans-Saharan trade routes that connected the territories of sub-Saharan Africa to those of North Africa. This network allowed for the movement of items such as spices, precious metals, and slaves into the Roman Empire, which resulted in the economic and cultural advancement of the surrounding area. These trade routes made it easier for people to share their knowledge with one another, which contributed to the intellectual development of Mauritania. The region's scholars and philosophers made substantial contributions to the Roman world, further cementing the connections between Mauritania and the rest of the Roman Empire. Roman civilization had a profound impact on Mauritania, as evidenced by the region's splendid cities, such as Volubilis and Tingis, as well as its superior agricultural practices and the Romanization process. This province, located on the Atlantic coast of North Africa, eventually became a vital part of the Roman Empire, making significant contributions to the empire's cultural fabric and economic well-being. As we reach the end of our tour for the day, it is important to keep in mind that the Roman legacy in Mauritania is still strongly felt in the region's traditions, architecture, and languages. 
It acts as a reminder of the interconnection of previous civilizations, as well as the lasting impact that old civilizations can have on subsequent generations. I want to thank you for coming along with me on this fascinating investigation of the Roman impact in Mauritania. Remember to click the like button and provide your email address to receive more exciting historical adventures. Continue looking into the past in order to better comprehend the present till we meet again.